Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the induction machines. So induction machines. So first, why the machine is called an induction machines? The so first is it is works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Simply, the machine which works on the electromagnetic induction is known as the induction machine. Again, the induction machine have two things: induction generator and induction motor. Here, so what is electromagnetic induction? First, the electromotive force EMF, the EMF will be generator in a conductor. So conductor have so you know the conductor. Conductor is nothing but which is useful to generate the, which is useful to carry the current. Generally, conductor is nothing but. when the time varying flux is applying to the conductor so we are applying some flux so there is a some flux is given to this this flux is time varying flux magnetic rotating flux like this then the in this conductor emf will be generated emf will be generated so by using this phenomena the induction machines will be working induction machines will be working so that's why it is called induction induction machines it is called the induction machines so induction machine is general formula again we will deeply discussing about this here first we will consider we will discuss in this chapter generally the three phase induction machines three phase induction machines okay these three phase induction machines a special characters consisting of the special characters the first point is it is asynchronous machine first thing is the asynchronous machine asynchronous machine means it doesn't have the constant speed simply that means speed is less than synchronous speed this is the first thing okay and it works on the again it works on the electromagnetic induction as we can name it as a mutual induction also we can call it as the mutual induction so you know the mutual induction means what is the mutual induction so we have generally we have the two coils we have the two coils and this is the one coil and this is the one coil for example if we give the supply to this coil supply to this coil The, then the emf will be generated here emf will be generated here and the flux will be produced the flux will be produced like this and some of the flux will be linked with this coil so then the linking of the flux will produce the emf in the secondary coil emf in the secondary coil so then the flux varying in the the flux the whenever the supply given to the first coil the emf will, will be generated in the second coil is known as the mutual induction simply mutual induction that means simply there is no connection between the power will be supplied from this 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 point to this point a simple thing so electrical power is generally we are giving to the this thing and those electrical power also generated in the secondary coil in the form of flux flux will be transferred the primary electrical power into the secondary electrical power by using the mutual induction concept so these are the three things these are the two things are important okay but to work to work induction machine properly we need some principles the first principle is faraday's law the piece the first principle is faraday's law in this faraday's law a simple thing whenever a conductor cuts the magnetic field it induces emf simply for example assume that this is the flux flux will be flowing from the this point to this point flux will be flowing flux lines this is from north pole to south pole there is a conductor and this conductor is rotating with some speed it has some rotation already this conductor will be rotates and flux will be given so 
whenever the conductor cuts the magnetic field it induces emf means the conductor will get it induces emf conductor will induces the emf understand this is known as the faraday's law the faraday's law so i will tell in simple words the simple words is in order to produce the emf three things are important the first thing one is the conductor and second thing is the magnetic field or flux second thing is the magnetic field or flux and the third thing is the relative motion relative speed or relative motion between the three things okay here we have the conductor here we have the conductor so there is a conductor and a magnetic field we have the magnetic field and the conductor will be rotates like this clockwise or anti clockwise then the emf will be generated in the conductor then this principle is known as faraday's law faraday's law in technical words simply whenever conductor cuts the magnetic field it induces emf it induces emf so the induced emf will be represented like this b into l into v b into l into v so what is this em e is nothing but induced emf or generated emf induced emf or generated emf generated emf next b here the flux will be flowing that is b is magnetic flux density d is nothing but the magnetic flux density this is units are two types one is tesla or weber for meter square and l is the conductor length l is the conductor length generally conductor length in terms of meters here we have the v velocity in meters v is the velocity velocity units are meter per second so this is the emf generated in the conductor whenever conductor cuts the magnetic field conductor cuts the magnetic field name itself there is a relative motion between the relative speed between the flux and the conductor so these by using this principle three phase induction motor will work and next fleming's right hand rule fleming's right hand rule is useful for directions in order to understand the directions of the three phase induction motor not only three phase induction motor but also induction motors single phase induction motor also here if you observe here so if you keep the if you keep the your right hand is like this this is this is the motion motion means we have a conductor conductor is rotating in this direction and in magnetic field is applied in this direction magnetic field is applied in this direction and the current in the conductor will be like this the current production current direction in the conductor will be like this that means here here we discussed how the emf is generated but this fleming's right hand rule will give the directions of the each and everything so in this formula we have magnetic field and uh, speed and the emf like that here so we i can give this is the thumb thumb will give the rotation of the conductor thumb will give the rotation of the conductor simply rotation of conductor and this is the center finger uh, sorry this is the four finger four finger is give the flux or magnetic field it will give the flux or the magnetic field and this is the center finger and this is the center finger 
here the center finger will give the current direction so these all are the directions only this is also a direction and this is also a direction yeah by using all these directions we can get the how the emf will get getting the direction okay this will give emf generated and this will give directions of the things so these two principles are very much useful to understand the induction motors one is paraday's law another one is the fleming's right hand rule okay so this is about the introduction of three phase induction machines and what are the principles used in the three phase induction machines not only three phase induction meter but also single phase i hope all of you understand this session thank you